So, on to operations security. Now, operations is, um, I suppose, a kind of an ill-defined term. Number one, isn't everything that we do operations? Uh, mind you, I suppose we could say that uh, the securing of the operations that we do uh, could be a field of its own. Um, but then again, you know, we've already talked about uh, security management, uh, management of the security in our businesses, um, the uh, securing of our networks and communication, the securing of our uh, programming and development, the uh, securing of our access control, etc., etc., etc. All of the uh, different uh, aspects of our operation uh, have been addressed in the uh, security, um, the the domains that we've already covered. Um, so, uh, then what is operation security? Uh, so, on the other hand, uh, some people figure that um, uh, operations is a kind of a catch-all. Is, is there anything that we haven't covered in the other domains? Uh, okay, let's, let's stick it in here. Well, to a certain extent, you may think that way as we go through some of the material that we're going to deal with here in operations but there there are uh, certain things in regard to operations that mm, fall uh, between the the planks of our platform of uh, business operations um, for example um, getting rid of stuff uh, now we've, I think we've touched on that. I may have told you, uh, some of the stories there, but let's, you know, we'll just make sure that we cover, uh, everything. And, and so, you know, in a sense, um, there is a place for a catch-all in security. Um, when we have done everything we can think of, uh, let's think of things we haven't thought about. Um, and in a sense, um, this is what auditing does. Somebody else coming and looking at what you've done and saying, wait a minute, you haven't done this. Um, so, yeah, um, maybe it's a catch-all, but catch-alls uh, are there for a reason to catch all, catch everything. Uh, make sure that we haven't missed something. Now, in regard to this, um, there are some uh, uh, we, we covered a number of books and I've, I've given you uh, references all the way along here um, in terms of what uh, to read here. Um, there is, uh, in, in this area, um, something like Linux and Internet Security. Um, now this is, um, uh, Spafford and Garfinkel have, uh, done a really good job in there. And it's, it sounds like, oh, this is specific. This is about, uh, is it Linux or is it Unix? I think it's maybe Unix. Anyways, I, um... And it's a it's a good work to read in in terms of operations uh, because it does talk about the technology, but it also it talks about it in terms of these are the functions that you need. These are the areas you need to secure. This is how you secure it in Unix, um, but it it tells you what you need to secure first. And, and then talks about the tool rather than the other way around. So it's, it's a good um, object lesson, case study, uh, in a sense, that uh, takes you through 
pretty much everything that you need to address in terms of information technology and the security involved in it. But the one that I really want to push is going to sound very weird. Um, this is uh, a book by Thomas Green, Home and Small Office Security. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thomas Green uh, contacted me when I was reviewing books. Um, I would sometimes get uh, people saying, "Will you please review my book?" You know, I, sometimes uh, it would be an author that I knew and, and respected their work and knew that it was going to be worthwhile. Um, but uh, sometimes um, I very strongly suspected that this was just somebody who wanted me to do a puff piece uh, publicizing their book and. I mean, unfortunately, there are an awful lot of uh, review situation or reviews uh, as such, or at least uh, named as such, uh, that mm, don't really review. There's, there's not an awful lot of... Uh, material there... Uh, giving a, a critical look at this book and is it any good, uh, what is it good for, what is it missing, uh, those types of things. Um, so I, I was kind of suspicious of uh, this proposal and when I got it, I was absolutely delighted and I have no hesitation in recommending it even for a business, um, even though it says, you know, home security and, and small office security. Uh, no, this is, this looks at security. It really does. And it, you know, um, it's most, you know, it's talking about home, so it's going to be mostly about windows. Um, but it talks about it again in the same way as Spafford and Garfinkel uh, talk about Unix and, and networking. Um, these are the functions. These are the vulnerabilities. These are the areas of, of danger. Um, and then these are the tools. Uh, and it really, Green did an excellent job of putting that together. I, I heartily recommend it to anybody who is a home user who wants to know, um, you know, uh, what are the dangers, how do we secure, and that sort of thing. And it may be a little out of date these days, because it was a while ago. Um, but because it concentrates on the functions, the exploits, the uh, weaknesses, the areas that you need to address, and only then goes into the you know, specifics of what you turn on and what you turn off. Um, that is very useful, a very useful exercise. So for anybody, any home user, yeah, go out and buy it. Uh, for any of those of you who are managing security for a large corporation, go out and buy it. Uh, you know, make it bedtime reading, whatever. It's, it's not going to um, uh, direct your security program, but it will remind you. Yeah, I am quite certain of things that you uh, maybe have neglected, maybe have forgotten, maybe uh, just assume is covered, and maybe you should check on it. And uh, it's it's the reference for this area.